Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll continue the build series of the High Altitude Balloon Project. Hey guys, welcome back. Glad you joined me today. Pretty excited. Uh, we ha now have our Hab GoPro. Uh, thanks, Brett. Really appreciate this. Um, hopefully, I can bring it back someday. But uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm printing a uh, case for this, um, just to to run this out in the open. I'm I'm going to explore both options. Right now, we have to shed some weight. And uh, I think I'm going to ditch the uh, clear waterproof case um, for not just the weight reason, but for the fact that a lot of people have uh, fogging problems when they use the case. And I, I kind of thought about how I could mitigate that with uh, putting the case and the camera in the freezer, dry air, and putting a, um, an anti-fog insert in it. And I got talking to a couple of people that are experienced with these HAB modules, and uh, they advocate never ever put it in the case. Uh, it's just, it's really really hit and miss whether they have fogging problems. So if we fog up, kind of wrecks the whole point of the mission if we don't come back with some good video. So I'm exploring both ways with and without the case still. But for now, I'm printing a mount for it. I'll show you that here. So that's the uh, the mount in the beginning stages, printing right now on my solid doodle. Uh, yeah, so uh, what else what I got is some um, anti-fog for the lenses of the cameras. This is uh, sold in the hockey section at Canadian Tire. Um, checked online, this has really good reviews. So does uh, the Rain-X sells one, but it's a heck of a lot more money. And uh, now we're gonna proceed with insulation of this uh, HAB module. I had no luck getting sheets of foam. The one sheet that I did get was aluminized on both sides, which is really good for household. Wouldn't be worth beans for having a GPS communicating with SAT and a cell phone trying to report position. It essentially would have made a Faraday cage. So unfortunately I can't use that nice foam I got. I even tried peeling the aluminum off. Can't seem to find any straight up foam around my area, so we'll cut away and I'll show you what I did find. So this is the insert out of the lunchbox for the HAB module. Uh, I'm thinking this is going to be pretty sweet for mounting uh, the cameras too. It gives me something rigid to mount to instead of a big floppy bag. And I went digging in the junk bins. Uh, the camera's probably going to wash out, but what I... I really wish I could have just found sheets of this, just plain old styrofoam, but I had no luck. So what I've got is, this would make a pretty good HAB module in itself, but it's pretty darn big. Um, a lot of people advocate just sending up coolers, just this. Uh, I, I long ago chose not to go that route, and we're going to stick with the, uh, the lunch bag idea and insulate it. So what I'll do, hopefully, we'll see how this works. Is I'm gonna, this stuff's pretty thick too. It's gonna take up a lot of space in here. So I'm gonna try this first. May or may not work. I'll start carving this up. I wish I had a nichrome wire um, right now. Then I can hot melt this, but we'll see how we do with the knife. It's probably gonna be butchered all the heck, but we'll see how it goes. Well, it didn't turn out the prettiest, but it sure is functional. So that's my hacked up coolers in place, um, form fitted. Pretty good, actually, not bad, considering it was done with an X-Acto knife. So, despite the fact that this is printing upstairs, I think I'm, the mount for the GoPro, I think I'm going to ditch it, and I'm going to, I have to recess this right into the side anyway. We need the lens protruding, and uh, so this will be set into the foam, and when the foam's all rigid, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, this has quite the extension on the lens. There's battery power for it to turn on. There we go. So this is going to be something like so. So I don't want it sticking right out the side so it gets smacked. 
So I'm going to have to figure out something how I'm going to do this. Uh, looks like basically flush mount on here, so I'll have to recess the foam for that and uh, come up with some uh, some Velcro mounting and then I'll, I'll back it up by wedging uh, foam insulation likely to, uh, to get these rigid in place. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Uh, I did test the GoPro, forgot to mention that. Um, I got three hours and nine minutes runtime at 20.9 gigabytes and that's with uh, the external pack on here. That is perfect for our flight. We are good to go. Uh, one thing I did underestimate was the heat output by the GoPro. Man oh man do these things get warm when you run them that long. Uh, I should have grabbed my infrared camera and took a shot of it but uh, I'll, I'll get more as we get into live testing in the enclosure but a lot of heat kicked off from this thing so uh, we're down to basically minimal heating required. I wouldn't say it was a waste of my time doing all that testing, it was kind of fun, but I think we're going to be down to basically one disposable hand warmer should be plenty enough with all this insulation to keep this warm. The GoPro will be exposed to the elements because it's going to be uh, against the case, there's only minimal insulation, but uh, I'm kind of, I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm kind of hoping that this lens area kind of stays a little colder and it doesn't fog up that way, but whatever. Um, I've seen lots of designs and, and done this way, and like I said earlier, I talked to some people and that's the way I should be doing it. According to them, anyway, whatever. We're going to learn something. Um, ultimately, I'd like this thing to be reusable and I'd like to do another launch. Yeah, better get this one over with first. Anyway, guys. That's it for today. I'm going to continue on getting stuff mounted, and I'll catch up with you next time. Good luck in all your electronics ventures and hobbies. Glad you could join me today.